Here are some notes on the maternal fetal transmission of herpes. Genital HSV2 is a locally recurrent disease. It causes painful vesicular lesions on the skin or mucous membranes of the genitals or lower GU tract. It uh, initially has an infection that causes fever and or headache, and it can rarely progress to hepatitis, meningitis, and encephalitis. The disease then recurs. It has local infections that are interspersed with asymptomatic periods. Genital herpes can be transmitted from the pregnant mother to the neonate during delivery. There are a few risk factors for increased transmission. Uh, pregnant moms that have a primary infection are at increased risk. If you use invasive fetal monitoring, if the mom has active disease, whether it's the primary um, disease or a recurrence um, during labor, that also puts you at risk, especially if you're doing vaginal delivery with active disease. The American College of Gynecologists recommends a C-section for women that have active lesions and prodromal symptoms like genital itching, pain, and burning. Neuraxial anesthesia is not contraindicated in moms that have active herpes. With primary infection in which there might be viremia, a spinal epidural needle might actually introduce the virus deeper um, into the central nervous system. So you want to discuss the risks and benefits before doing neuraxial anesthesia and also discuss alternate options.